Okay, so I've placed most of my rocks and I've placed a lot of my 3D structures and now I want to kind of see what everything looks like. And what I need to do is uh, find my player start. Now, you can look down your list and there's a good chance that you have a lot of stuff. And maybe one of the tricks that you can also do is uh, right click, create a new folder and write, uh, you know, materials from level. And then just you can drop in some of you know some of this stuff here like all these static meshes so i'll go all the way down here control shit whoops click click the control key and i can just click all these and just drag them into uh, my new level to clean the things out now you can do that you can teach your students to do that um, to look for player start you can just type player start click on it and you see where it is. And again, I said this a while ago, if it's in the floor, you want to pull it out, place it in a strategic spot where your most your scene is kind of surrounding. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press play up here. OK, so if you press play um, now, just be careful to tell the students that they want selected viewport. If they use some of these others, it'll act weird and you may get confused. So just selected viewport, press play and what you can see now is you can see from where your your character would potentially be placed what it looks like and this allows you to fix if you see errors like let's pretend this was floating in the air now this is an important uh and this is off in the distance and like i said you're basically building your scene around this one central area and i said it would be right here so i have these two pillars that i added and i'm pretty happy with that to escape you press the escape key all right and uh, the next uh, step will be to add some foliage and um, maybe even some trees. But before we do the trees, uh, we're going to add the foliage. OK, so um, why don't we do that now? So we're going to go to um, Mega Scans. We're going to go to 3D uh, plants that I uh, and then now if you're using uh, 4.25, you have to go and open this up. But I'm just going to since i'm 4.24 for now i'm going to drop some foliage in here okay so as you can see there's currently not much in there if i i can always just move this around here because the resolution on my screen is a little and you want to go to the foliage folder okay and that's where you're going to get uh, your different uh, types of, uh, of maps okay let me just go to this one here plants you got some of these nice violets here and I'm going to add a couple of these and what you do is you know you can just do this type first and then uh, you know add a different foliage uh, after so how do you do that so you have to select them and you're gonna see a brush come okay the rule of thumb is if I click boom that's that's pretty dense so we don't want that so we're gonna uh, lower the density all right and then you know this kind of you can make your brush bigger with the bracket tool and you know just add some and I always have a look what is it doing is it are they too long is it and if you hit the shift key it'll erase what you've already done okay so click and again, you might say that's not dense enough. I want more. All right. And you see what's happening is I definitely don't want it all over these stones. So I'll press shift there. And you don't want them on your main structures at the, you know, like I think I have one on here. Shrink my brush. Press shift. Get rid of it. Okay. So basically that's what you do. When you're, you're done with this, you can press delete. Uh, press escape. And we, we can create the next brush if you like so now just uncheck all these and you can go and get some different ones and let's go with common uh, click in the foliage folder this is basically your grass you could keep everything in there or you could remove it I'll just bring a whole bunch of these in And what I want to do now is check off 
just the grass and not There's quite a bit of this. And maybe I want more density. Again, be careful to not put it on the rocks. One trick that you can do is uh, do like we did at the beginning. Whoops. Zero control Z there for a little mistake. But I, I might want to zoom out a little bit and zoom up. So I'll just click over here and zoom out so that you can see what you're kind of painting, right? You go back over here and then you can go in and see how it looks. Now, did I actually select them? Yeah, I did. Okay. So you can do your whole, and you could go in off in a distance. You don't want to put too much vegetation where you're not going to go because this actually does use memory on the computer. And, uh, Let's just click over here, click here, press F. Let's go see what it's looking like. Looking pretty good. So just keep going like that. So you're making your scene come alive slowly and adding uh, vegetation all over the place. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.